Hey there. I'm, uh, as, as what you know, following the channel here, I'm down here in Alabama riding around. And it's beautiful. Uh, a bunch of them down here call it God's country. I wouldn't argue with them. But uh, doing a thought of the day here, because uh, I j just had an incident happen where uh, driving down a public highway and a motorcycle just stops in the middle of the road. And I mean, right center lane stops to wave me by. And uh, no lights, no anything. And uh, so I pulled over, asked them if they need help. And they said, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just out riding around and I said you know you don't have any lights and the gentleman looks at me and says yeah I know and and that's my problem that's where this thought of the day is is what are you doing what are you doing on a public highway you know putting other people at risk I mean he stopped so fast at 55 mile an hour zone I mean he just stopped just to let me by and probably with good intention but uh so I had to talk to the guy and, you know, asked him, you know, do you know how dangerous that is? And he said, you know, I never really thought about it. And I said, well, do you know how to, you know, ch you ever thought about checking your bike over before you ride and, and the things you should and shouldn't take chances on? And, and I, you know, I, my, I kind of calmed down a little bit because what I realized, he just didn't know better. And so I thought about that, just, you know, a quick little reminder out there, take your motorcycle and check it out you know pre-ride inspection and I know man I take this for granted too you know I, I just pulled over on the side of the road here and before I started riding this a few days ago I mean I'm coolest aunt in the world by the way let's me borrow our Ducati Multistrada so thank you Aunt Kim but uh before I rode the bike I checked over I checked the tires I checked the brakes I checked the lights I checked the indicators you know went through the process and I can't recommend enough do a little you know quick video here is to uh Make sure your lights are working as you turn it on and then start to run through the, you know, run through the features, you know, put it neutral, make sure your neutral light works. Oil light, you know, is on and goes off when the bike starts, you know, use your turn signals, check them out, indicators work, get back there, look at the vehicle, verify that they, you know, are both functioning, you know, check out the headlights, the high beams. The brake light, the brake light can be kind of a pain sometimes if you're working alone. Uh, what you could do is, you know, put your hand back here over the brake light and operate it with your foot leaning forward like so. So I'm going here like this, and then I'm making sure that the brake light actually works. Same thing with the hand, but, you know, like I said earlier, tires, you know, look the bike over for anything loose. But, man, uh, just to summarize my thought of the day, whoo! A young man gave me a heart attack. Uh, you know, fortunately, I was riding with a safe distance and uh, wasn't, you know, right on top of him because it, it probably would have been an accident. So, uh, two things to summarize this. Number one, check your bike over. Number two, take a rider course, get mentored. Don't be jumping on these motorcycles and hopping on the highway and thinking you're just going to learn it and, and put other people at risk. I mean, I understand you have to learn. I understand it takes some time. But, man, this is a craft as anything else. Learn how to ride and learn how to ride well. Uh, make it a great day, and we'll talk to you again.